Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what you can expect in love in the near future and uh, what do you need to know about the person that you're dealing with, what are the energies between you, and where is it all headed next. As always, keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Capricorn watching. All right, Capricorn, let's see what's coming your way in love. All right, so for Capricorn, what's coming your way in love? Spirit for Capricorn, what's coming Capricorn's way in love? Oh, we got two. Paralyzing fear, afraid, immobile, unsure. Fears holding you back from what you desire. And far apart, distance, separation, divide. Distance is affecting the strength of this connection. Some of these um, cards, by the way, I've updated, so they're not going to look exactly the same. So check out the listing for better pictures. So there's something here. I feel like fear constantly. Obviously, fear is keeping you apart. I also feel like distance. Some of you may have some sort of like emotional distance or physical distance from your person. Interesting. And fear. Fear. Fear is very strong. I like when I saw this, I was like, immediately I thought, wow, this is, this is like paralyzing, obviously paralyzing fear, but you know, it's, it's a fear that is almost like, keeping someone from something that could, has the potential to be very beautiful. Okay, let's put some romance angels as well. Any messages for Capricorn in regards to love spirit? Messages for Capricorn, please. Now, this cannot resonate with every Capricorn watching. This isn't your reading. Don't try to make it fit. Just check out your other placements if they're more prominent in your chart. Um, or check out the previous videos I've done for Capricorn. Or check out next week's video. Maybe that one will resonate more. All right, Capricorn. What else do we need to know about Capricorn spirit? Any messages for Capricorn when it comes to love? One of these two. Religious factors and soulmates. Okay. Religious factors for me is just a card that, uh, for me, this card is just spirit involved in some way. Soulmates. Yes, this is your soulmate. Again, very beautiful connection. I, I feel like there's something very nice here that someone is unable to have due to their own fears. Possibly due to distance as well. Anything else for Capricorn? Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Interesting. Could be anybody from your past. It does not have to be someone you've been with before. So let's see. Let's see. What, what is this all about? I'm using the Radiant Wise Spirit deck here. All of the decks that I use are linked in the description box if you're curious. Or Capricorn. What do you need to know, Spirit? What's coming your way in love? It's coming their way in love. There you are, Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. Your likes and your subscribes help out the channel a lot. Okay, we got the Moon Reverse and Death Reverse. Spicy Scorpio Energy. What else is coming? Capricorn's way in love. Five of Cups. There's the past. So the moon reverse, something, an illusion is being seen clearly, a secret coming to light. What was hidden is now coming to the surface. Big revelation with the moon reverse. However, with death reverse, it's like someone's resisting a change, resisting an ending, resisting something that should end or could end. It's like they're, they're not, they're trying to prevent it or, um, you know, maybe out of fear, they're trying to resist it. Can we clarify these energies? Five of Cups, regret, remorse, sadness over the past, over what hasn't happened, um, disappointment. So let's break all of these down. Let's start with the Moon Reverse. Why is the Moon Reverse? Spirit, why is the moon reverse? Seven of Pentacles reversed here. 
a bad investment. Six of Cups came out. Whatever this is, is related to the past, to either a past life type of connection or a past connection of some sort or someone you know from the past. What else can you tell me about the moon reverse? Four of Cups. Discontentment. Boredom. Not satisfied. Not interested. And in whatever this cup is. Bottom of the deck, I have the Wheel of Fortune. This is big, happy changes here. Um, fortune on your side. Events taking place. Divine timing. We have Religious Factors card, the perfect card for this. So I feel like there's something coming to the surface that's going to... It's, it's almost going to be a revelation about something that you spent time or effort in. It's related to the past in some way. And I feel like it's going to cause you to lose interest or um, almost like um, you're not going to be interested in, in what you find out or uh, what comes out of that. Maybe you're not going to be sure. Maybe you're going to be focused on other things and not what's right in front of you. So be very careful that you don't you know, miss out on this revelation. And I feel like whatever it is, whatever this, this cup being offered to you here, it has the chain, the, it has a chance to change something big, you know, with the wheel of fortune. And this could be something that, um, you, um, that you do yourself, this revelation, or it's something that happens to you. Regardless, it's still the same thing. It's, re it's related to the past and it's related to something here that I feel like you, you might miss. Blink, it, blink and you miss it, you know? Let's see. Tell me more about this Four of Cups. I'm interested here. What is this? What do you think about this Four of Cups? Ace of Wands reverse, Three of Pentacles reverse. See, it's almost like, um, like if you're not careful, you might miss a new beginning here. You might miss working together on something. Um, there could be a third party involved for some of you with the Three of Pentacles Reverse. I'm just mentioning it because it's there. The card is the card. What do you want me to say? <laughs> but I feel like, um, you know, someone not paying attention, not being open, it's going to cause you to miss out on this Ace of Wands. And you might not be interested because of who's involved or because maybe you don't want to put in effort because maybe you put in effort before and it didn't work out. Tell me about death reverse. Why is death reverse? Hang on one second. As I suspected, my dog was eating something they shouldn't. He shouldn't have been eating, so. All right, moving on. <laughs> Tell me more about this death card reverse. Why is death reverse? Eight of Cups. See, it's like something that needs to be walked away from. Something, somebody needs to walk away from this ending. But it's like the judgment, their judgment is blocked or, or they, they're resisting it. And then we have the Two of Pentacles reverse. So it's like the decision might even be made for them. You know, it's almost like resisting might not work. Um, it could be that they were um, deciding what to do and finally made a decision. Maybe an offer came through. Knight of Pentacles at the bottom here. Maybe an, uh, an offer came through that helped you decide. But this Knight of Pentacles, it's a very slow offer. So you might be waiting a while for this to come in. And I feel like you shouldn't be resisting... I feel like a change is what is needed. Change is needed here. Someone needs to walk away. I 
I feel like when that happens is when this offer arrives. You know, because it's like, after, it's, it's almost like the walking away is the choice that someone makes. And that, that might be because an offer is made or because, you know, by, by making that choice, you are welcoming in a new offer. And this could be you, Capricorn, and this could be somebody that you're involved with that, that has to walk away from something. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Oops. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Four of Swords. Someone's doing a lot of thinking. Reflecting on the past, missing someone possibly. You could miss someone, they could be missing you. Five of Cups here. The Emperor Reverse, Aries Energy. Feeling powerless, not lacking courage. That's that fear. Tell me more about the Five of Cups. Wow, the Empress Reverse. we got a pair here that's not really working out very well. With the Four of Swords, someone's like deep in thought. Maybe there's little communication between you. Maybe it's quiet distance, again, with the distance card, emotional distance for some of you. Um, I feel like you're not on the same page. You're not even able to, to see each other at this point. With the Empress Reverse, this is someone that, it, it's almost like um, the situation is out of control or someone feels like they don't have control. They're not able to manifest. They're not able to grow with this person. They're not able to make anything happen with this person. Um, it's possibly because someone needs to bridge the divider or bridge that gap. Can I get some more? Cards about this five of cups. Tell me more about this five of cups. Tell me more about the five of cups, please. Yeah, there's there's an imbalance here. Either someone doesn't feel the same way for the other person, or someone cannot make the same effort as someone else. Someone's not able to give while another person can. Someone could be resisting this. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck, reverse. Someone could be um, still wanting to fight back or fight or resist, even though something's over. This drama, this fighting, this conflict is over. Someone could be wanting to fight for reconciliation, fight for a compromise here. Five of Wands, reverse, can mean that someone's willing to work together Put the egos aside, compromise, not be fighting any longer. That's what five of wands reverse can mean there. So I feel, I'm feeling two different energies here. Some of you, I feel, are still fighting, still defensive, still guarded, even though something's already passed, like it's been done. Others of you, I feel like you're standing up for yourself and fighting for this connection. You know, wanting things to get better, wanting things to re-stabilize. But there's this fear or just distance that is still between you. And maybe, you know, spirit has to get involved here. We have the soulmate card with the six of cups. We have, we have the wheel of fortune that came up. Now somebody here needs to be careful though, because we do have the four of cups with the ace of wands reverse and the three of pentacles reverse. So it's almost like someone might, might not even be open to this offer be the seven of wands you know it's like there's that cup and someone's not even looking up for it it's not interesting and they might miss something big here so let's look what's the potential outcome what's next here what's next here for Capricorn and love What's next for Capricorn? And I feel like, you know, deep down, 
whatever this moon reverse is, um, that has to do with the past, it's almost like, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing, I'm seeing something come to light, someone having an aha moment about the past, uh, about either what happened in the past, about someone walking away in the past or some or walking away now, but it's related to the past. And I feel like they're so focused on the past that they're going to miss something in the present. You know, the five of cups is focused on the past, on what didn't work out. Four of cups, focus on the three cups there, not really interested in anything. Um, Ace of wands, reverse. Judgment, reverse. Death, reverse. It's like there, there could be a big change here in love in, in the future, and I feel like it's a missed opportunity. You know, and it's probably because both of you here, whether you're the feminine energy or the masculine energy, um, both of you are not really in a state of making anything happen for you here. What's next for Capricorn in love? What's next for Capricorn in love? Knight of Wands reverse. What's next for Capricorn in love? Two of Pentacles reverse came out twice. What's next for Capricorn in love? Ooh, Knight of Cups. This could be two different people here. Someone could be apologizing to you. What's this Knight of Cups about? Oh, and then we got the Page of Wands and the Eight of Wands that I just saw there. What's this Knight of Cups about? What's this Knight of Cups about for Capricorn? Oh, that was sloppy. What's this Knight of Cups for Capricorn about? A choice and decision. I almost feel like you're not going to see this cup coming. She's blindfolded. Oh, and then we have the Emperor Reverse again. If someone's apologizing, I feel like the other person or whatever offer is being made, the other person's not going to know what to do with it. It sounds like a stalemate. Someone here doesn't have the confidence or the, the, the stability. Um, someone feels powerless or maybe is a bit of a controlling energy. Maybe they want to control a situation and have it be their way. And I feel like if that's the case, there's going to be a stalemate here. Like nothing's going to really happen. And, you know, I feel with the two of pentacles here, not doing something, not accepting something, that in, in itself is a choice. I hope I'm making sense. So, you know, it's like when someone's saying, well, I don't know what choice to make. Well, you're making a choice anyway, you know, because you're not doing anything. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I feel like there's going to be a stalemate here between you. Um, I feel like some someone here is, is wondering if this person's going to be here for a long time or, or just a good time with the Knight of Wands. Reverse. Maybe they think, oh, I don't want to be just another person, you know, getting played. I don't want to be just another person being bounced around. You know, maybe you feel like, maybe you fear that someone is, you know, having multiple people that they're dating or something like that. Tell me about this Knight of Wands reverse. What's this Knight of Wands reverse? Oh, the Fool. What's this Knight of Wands reverse? The High Priestess and the Five of Cups reverse. The Moon reverse again. We're getting the same messages for you. Knight of Wands reverse with the Fool, the High Priestess, and the Five of Cups reverse. Again, there's something here that's like you don't see coming with the High Priestess, or something is hidden here. It's not communicated. It's almost like, you know, if someone's missing you or wanting to get you back, they're not communicating that or, or vice versa. Someone wants a new beginning, wants to take a risk, but I feel like their approach might not be the best with the Knight of Wands reverse. 
You know, it's like they're jumping in, but they're not really knowing where they're going. All they know is that they want to fix something or overcome the past, regain what was lost. And I don't, I don't think that their approach is the best. And maybe you see that. Maybe you're like, wow, you're acting crazy. I don't know if I can trust this. <laughs> Who knows? So let me know in the comments if this is resonating for you. If you're dealing with someone that you don't really know how it's going to end, and so you don't know if you can trust their intentions, if there's like a secret here that you don't know, and it, you know, it might be that you're just not interested in that. Maybe you don't trust this person's way of doing things. Maybe you've already tried this in the past and it didn't work or something like that, and it's keeping you from jumping on this offer here. So let me know if it's resonating for you and how the reading fits for your situation. I love hearing from you how the readings resonate. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, thanks for watching my channel, for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in another video. Take care.